Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. If you are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in the East Valley of Arizona. Today is Tuesday, July 12th. <laughs> and I'm back in my classroom for another classroom setup video. So a couple of things I wanted to quickly address before I get any deeper into this vlog. Um, the first one being my floors. So I know you guys watched in my first classroom setup video, I was moving furniture and yes, I know that I ruined the floor wax. Um, I've already apologized to the cleanup crew. I've already mentioned it to my principal, how sorry I am. Unfortunately, there really wasn't any way around it um, on the day that I was there there weren't a ton of people around and the ones that were around were like completely busy and they couldn't really help. Uh, my mom was here, but she's, you know, in her sixties, she's had a few back surgeries and so I don't want her moving furniture. But if you don't know, um, my floors are kind of scratched. Well, not kind of, they're, they're very scratched. Um, and so I even offered to the cleaning crew, I was like, you know, if you give me the stuff, I can re-wax it. Um, you know, give me whatever tools I need, I can fix it, um, or, you know, make it look as good as I can. Um, but really there was no other way to move the furniture back to where it was. Um, you know, they had everything so, um, stacked and moved that there's, I mean, I, I, what else was I supposed to do? Um, I have, I didn't have a dolly, like I don't have any other tools, um, you know, and no one else was here to help. So yes, my room or my floors are a little scratched. Um, you can kind of see it depends on like the angle that you're at. Um, you can see like the tracks up there, but either way I did, I have acknowledged it. I have apologized to all the parties that need to be apologized to, and it is what it is, it's done with. Uh, my floors technically get more scratched than the average because I do have these stools and the kids are scooting in and out a lot. So, um, so yeah. One more other thing that I wanted to mention was I do have my janitor coming in at some point, hopefully before kids come, and he's going to raise my tables up and my stools up. So when I pictured this school year, I really wanted my tables to be a little bit higher so that students could stand at them and work. And also the stools would be up a little bit higher you know, I think if they're a little bit higher then a kid can either sit or stand at a table. And that is kind of my version of flexible seating, if you will. So let's get into this vlog. Today's vlog is gonna be kind of long. Um, I do have a long to-do list of things that I need to get done. I will show you that to-do list. But first I wanted to show you guys, I have a new discount code for my teaching desk, which is this beautiful bamboo rising desk from flexi spot it is literally the coolest desk i've ever had in my life i do have another flexi spot desk it's that that one in the back that my computer's on it goes up and down as well and um, that one can fit on any tabletop this one though i have a 30 dollars off coupon code um at flexi spot i will put the link right in the top of the description but i love this desk because it comes with this drawer which is super handy as you can tell i keep like all kinds of stuff in here. Um, I have like partner cards in here. Um, I've got some little like quick brain break activities. I have a liquid IV in here, chapstick, remote controls, doorbell. Um, and I keep some chargers in here too. And just little like things that I would wanna grab, you know, without having to walk back to my table if I'm up here teaching. Um, another thing I really like about it is it has these cool like settings so you can um, customize the height of your desk and you can also um, make it go up and down as you would like. It also comes with two USBs and I think that's called a micro USB, I'm not sure. That is the charger for the most current iPhones. I believe that um, when you get like your new plug, that one will fit the new iPhone chargers, you know, the ones with the really big rectangle blocks. Anyways, I freaking love this desk and I have had so many people ask me where I got it, including teachers on my campus. So 
I am gonna be featuring a discount code here, but it is limited time. So I will have the dates that that is running down in the description box below. Um, so unfortunately, if you're watching this like after August, that discount code is no longer valid, but this should be um, discounted $30 at least to like August 1st-ish. I'll have the exact uh, dates down below. Okay, let's get into today's vlog. So I have a little bit of a haul for you guys. I did do a little bit of shopping. Every year I try to save as much as possible, but as you teachers know, it's impossible to not spend any money. I mean, maybe your, real, your school district's really, you know, giving and they give you the money for all the things you need. But unfortunately, the things that I need are usually not on like a district supply list. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys an overview of the things that I purchased, where I got them from, what my plans are for them, and then I'm gonna share with you my to-do list. So let's flip you around. All right, so starting over here, I have a lot of Amazon things. Um, by the way, I've been loving this book. I've actually been reading it um, along with planning for the first couple of weeks of school, and it's been really awesome. So I got some duct tape, and this is just like off-brand Amazon duct tape. And what I plan on doing with it is I'm actually gonna color code my blocks this year. I'm gonna have a blue, a purple, and a yellow. Over there I have blue, purple, and red, but I think I'm gonna swap the red ones out for yellow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a small piece of duct tape on every student's science notebook with their student number on it so that we can organize the notebooks a little bit better. When my assistants put those things back in the afternoon or when the class is over, um, everything will be numbered so the kids can find their notebooks with ease. And then it just you know happened to come with pink and green and orange. So um, I'll be able to use that for many different purposes. In here, I just have some sticker paper and I plan on using the sticker paper to label um, student notebooks and then also my green folders, which I will share with you what the green folders are probably in my next video, which is gonna be like classroom management stuff. Um, so sticker paper, you can never have enough sticker paper um, for many reasons. This is laminating pouches. Usually I get a different brand, but Amazon had a hundred pack for like eight bucks or something. So I snagged this, it's just laminating sheets. I'm gonna be using that a lot today, probably tomorrow. Um, for a lot of lamination projects. Now this I saw on Pinterest and I absolutely cracked up. So these are just like kids science goggles and what I'm gonna use these for are hall passes. No, the kids don't have to wear them on their face. They can put them around their wrist or around their neck or on their head or whatever. But I'm gonna put in here, yes, I'm ditching science, how did you know? And so this will be my hall pass. Um, there's two, one for girls, one for boys. Um, and I just thought that was hysterical. That's the kind of thing that like my favorite teacher would have done. Or like she would have given you the legless chair and you had to carry that to the bathroom. So far. I got a new set of Papermate Inkjoy gel pens. These are my absolute favorite pens to use throughout the year for grading, um, for keeping my planner, my agenda, taking notes, everything. So I am gonna trash all my old ones um, maybe keep them in a separate place where, you know, but these will be staying here at my teacher desk for my use. And then I also grabbed a few of these magnets. I don't know where all of my magnets for my whiteboard went. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed these and I love these because they have the clip on them. So they're multifunctional. So I think this is pretty much all of Amazon as of now. I think. Okay. Moving on to Target. So I grabbed a couple of notebooks um, because as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, I do use science notebooks, interactive science notebooks. Um, I'll do a whole video on those, but I did need a couple. Um, I plan on making, actually, I thought about this the other day. I know I mentioned in my first video that I was thinking about making um, two notebooks, but I think I'm actually going to make three. I'm going to make um, one for each block and then um, you know one of them will be mine. So that way, if ever a child is absent and needs to copy notes from the day that they missed, um, instead of stealing a classmate's notebook, they can just steal you know one of mine. So um, I do end up having to like you know recopy the notes um, every class period. So it just makes sense to make a couple of notebooks, and then that way I have one for each block. 
and there's plenty for the kids to use to copy from. So anyway, I just grabbed a few of these. I think this one's adorable, it's giving me frizzle vibes. And then this one is just basic um, yellow flowers. Thought that was really cute. Um, I did get a pack of Astro Brights paper. I do have some. It's over in that corner over there. But I needed more because I do use Astro Bright paper to make all of my like bulletin board labels. So like the words that go on top of the bulletin board, I use. Uh, this Astro Bright paper to do that. And then I needed a couple of light bulbs for a few of my lamps. I had to get the like basic, I don't know what these are called. These are the bigger ones. These are the smaller ones. I had to get a few of those. I grabbed a few more refills on command hooks. Um, and these are cool because they come with different sizes. So this one came with 60 small ones, which I love. And then this one came with a bunch of different sizes. Also grabbed some batteries. So those are triple A's. I have some double A's. These are just for like various devices around the room, like, you know, like battery operated lights. Um, my like microphones, um, just various objects like remote controls that need batteries throughout the year. Um, my dinosaur suit needs batteries, so it's very important. <laughs> and then, I'm gonna dump this out. Um, I did get a couple of new Cricut mats because mine were starting to get really old. Um, and I can foresee a few of my teacher friends just from school popping in to use the Cricut here and there. So I grabbed a couple more of them just, you know, to be safe. Um, and then I actually grabbed a few of these individual pencil sharpeners. Oh, there's another command hook thing. Um, and then these are actually the hooks. These actually came from Amazon. I'll use these to hang up my LED lights later. Um, but anyways, I grabbed a couple of these handheld pencil sharpeners to keep in my student bins that go on top of the tables. I have to get one more, which I'm sure I'll be able to find before the first day of school, but I just like them for colored pencils. Um, the colored pencils tend to jam up the pencil sharpener, and so I grabbed a couple of those just for colored pencils, um, and that's it. And then I did grab a little bit of vinyl. I'm gonna use this to label um, some things on my whiteboard and just various other projects that I like to use this for, um, the date on the board, things like that, that I don't wanna have to keep writing every single day. And then I grabbed a four balloon. I thought that would be super cute to hang somewhere in the room. Um, I do have a cute little like balloon hooray sign that I might hang under there. That's from like years ago at Target. Remember when they used to, to sell those, the like big hooray balloons? Um, so I have that and I might hang this up with it. And then last but not least, I got this adorable cup. Like I need another cup. This one will stay at school though. So this will be for like water, coffee, um, you know, whatever I decide to drink out of it. But I just thought it was so cute, protect our mother. Everything that I do in, in, in uh, fourth grade science is usually linked to the earth. And so I thought, you know, protect the earth. I thought that was kind of clever. All right, so I decided to go ahead and print a couple of other things uh, with my Cricut. So um, the word focus wall, I'll probably use vinyl and I will label my whiteboard with the words focus wall instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and go print out these two things. I have some paper here I'm gonna print it on. And I think that's it as far as printing for now. So I'm gonna run downstairs, grab that, and then head back up and start working on some more Cricut projects.
All right, friends, so I'm currently working on some of my Cricut projects. The first thing that I'm printing out are my little hall passes and my focus wall label. Next, I'm going to be cutting out some continent labels, a look at what we're learning sign, um, and then some labels for my inbox. And then I'm gonna be labeling the outer part of my door, or I guess like the, I'll show you, but latitude and longitude directions. So I'm gonna keep working on my Cricut things and then I will show you guys once those things are done and placed where they need to be. So I don't actually use contact paper or transfer paper when putting my uh, laminate, or not laminated, my Cricut vinyl stuff. I just use masking tape or painter's tape. It's a lot cheaper than transfer paper and it works just as good. Hey you guys, so I have come into a lot of issues today with my Cricut and so I'm kind of at a point where I'm like completely over it and I'm putting it off to the side. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I did have a couple of other projects that I needed to do and I still have to complete that one but I'm like stepping away from it for a little bit. Um, I was going to create some little labels for my whiteboard with it but I think I'm going to just print it on paper and cut it out because I'm at a point where I'm just about to throw it across the room. I bought new um, mats for it and they're like either too sticky and I can't remove the stuff from the back. As you guys saw, I was like scraping it off and then the transfer paper wasn't working either. So I'm kind of annoyed. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, create some labels with PowerPoint and just print them um, and cut them out and put them on the board because I am far over it. Hey you guys, so Cash is here now and um, I got a lot done in the last hour or two. I actually just laminated and printed out a whole ton of stuff. So tonight I'm gonna take a bunch of it home and cut it out so that tomorrow if I get any downtime, I can hang up all of my bulletin board labels and then a couple of little things. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually hang up my LED lights that go around my whiteboard. It's kind of a task um, because I do have to put all the command strips up first and then hang it. So it is gonna be um, a big job, but it has to be done. Cash is here, so he might be able to help me, um, which will be great. He can hand me the command hooks as I need them. And then after that, um, we're gonna try to clear up all of these tables, or I'm gonna try and clear up all these tables before I leave for the day.
turning the lights off so we could see what it looked like. I kind of need like a lamp over here. I feel like that side is lacking, but that's the window side, so can't really do much about that. And then these lights come on too. Now we got all the lights on. All right, so I'm starting to get a little bit sleepy. So I think what I'm going to do is just wrap up a couple of things. I'm gonna try to clear off as many tables as I can before three o'clock and leaving by three is the goal. So I've gotten a lot done today, most of it like printing and laminating and cricketing, <laughs> um, but I feel good. I feel like I've got a lot done. Tonight I have to go home and cut a bunch of stuff out. Um, I hung this little shelf and I put a diffuser up there and then I hung this shelf. This is gonna be like where I put flyers for kids to grab. Like if you if you didn't grab a field trip slip or you lost one, there's extra on the student board so they can grab stuff from there. I've got my hall passes hung and labeled. I ended up just writing on it with a Sharpie. And then I put this little thing here above the um, air conditioning thing just for extra storage if I needed to put anything else there. Like I'll probably put my door stoppers in there that way they don't get lost so anyways i'm gonna wrap some things up in here and then head home for the day all right my friends so cash and i are on our way to the printer we're gonna grab the last couple of items that i need to print and laminate and then we're gonna get out of here it is 3 41 definitely did not leave at three but that's okay because we got a lot well, i got a lot done between three o'clock and now all right, you guys, we picked up what we needed. And so I have one more thing I'm gonna do, which is laminate. These letters are for my hallway bulletin board. They say seat belts, everyone. I'm just gonna laminate and then get these in my take home to cut folder. And I'm starting to pack up while the laminator is working. So I'm gonna just give you guys a quick overview of the room so that you can see what I've been doing. Honestly, all day has been like cricket, laminating, printing, all of the like busy work that takes forever to complete, but it's done. Um, I think there might be like a couple of random things left for me to like print and laminate, but as of right now, all of that is done. So thank goodness for that. I'm tired, Cash is tired. He did so good today, honestly. Oh, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to drill that in a lot better um maybe out more anyways he did an amazing job like being good and quiet he really just watched his tablet all the whole time he was here maybe two hours um but the whole time he was an absolute gem so i had to ask him a few times not to get into my stuff but overall he did great Here's the room. A couple more things to hang. Tomorrow is the first day of contract day, so I really don't know how much time I'm gonna have in here. But what I would like to do is get all of the stools put down underneath the tables um, in the spots they're going to go. I have 28 students per class, so right now I'm going to set up for five at each table group. I'll probably split the tables. Um, I probably won't leave them connected only because I do need room for five. Did it die? Oh no. So I do need room for five at each table. So I'm probably gonna push everything kind of forward and shift so that there is room in between. And then finish completely clearing the tables and start setting up for the teacher night. 
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are loving my classroom setup videos and other people's videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.